Hey guys, Shiggy here, hey, 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 G, you know, welcome to the top 5 GTA 5 episode, and this one is requested in by Mike Hudson, he wanted to see the best 5 guns in GTA 5, remember guys, this is my personal opinion and personal list, so if you guys disagree with this list, then let me know in the comments below what your list would look like for your favourite guns in GTA 5, now remember, if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, I'd be greatly appreciated, I do sound slightly different to usual in my commentaries, I'm kind of hazed up right now, but it's all good, let's go into number 5 spot, we have the SNL pistol, this one is from the Beach Bomb Pack, DLC and it's a pistol that is so so small that you can't even see it in Franklin's uh, hand unless you zoom really really close into it and the reason why I love this particular pistol compared to every other pistol in this game is that because it's so so small it's so effective as well with its sort of unique animation that it has uh, with its kickback with its very very powerful shots that you can take out enemies with ease even though it takes quite a few bullets at close uh, distance I still feel that it's a pretty pretty awesome weapon to use because it's so small and yet so effective but anyway moving on to our number four spot we have the combat mg this one actually is an lmg and it's got a huge ammo clip size it takes about three to four bullets to kill the killer player from any range and you know because of that it's got a very high fire rate so sort of compensate for the lack of damage however with this huge clip size you can just see you can massacre people without having to reload and eventually you run out of bullets but by the time you would pretty much have everyone decimated and you can see another perspective you know, from some long range action here taking out the cop driver and this is still I'm not sure if that's the driver but now eventually the driver gets taken out you can see his foot's still on the pedal but anyway moving on to number three spot we have the assault shotgun this is a fully automatic shotgun sort of like the AA-12 so you'd expect a lot of damage from this and the pretty cool thing about this shotgun compared to other shotguns is that because of its high damage, the range is slightly increased, therefore still getting one shot, one kills at quite some range. Uh, obviously you can't go to a certain range where it's like a long shot, which you can only do with freaking assault rifles. For example, here you limit yourself, obviously, so it is a shotgun, so that's something that you can deal with. But it is the, one of the best shotguns in the game, definitely reminds you of the AA-12, and it's so, so fun going into massacres with this, especially in tight situations when you have a lot of sort of cops surrounding a lot of players surrounding you and you can sort of take these out guys out in two shots in semi mid range sort of like near long range but it's it's difficult to tell because of course the police it's uh, the cops itself has uh, uh, armor so it does take a couple of bullets but still it's very very effective compared to other shotguns at these ranges but yeah number two spot we have the advanced rifle this one actually put it this way right it's one of the best assault rifle, one of the best rifles in the game and I thought, you know, with this such powerful damage with his bullets at any given range, sort of like a one to two shot kill, really. And so, so good, drops people so quickly that I felt it deserved to be the number two spot. It's so, so effective. You know, literally just take players out, left, right, center, innocent civilians. Everyone's just dropping, literally, as you fire these bullets. Yeah, huge damage. Fire rate is decent as well. And every, every single stat about this is perfectly balanced, making this one of my favorite rifles in the game and definitely deserve to be in this list for our top five. You can just see surviving every single angle, taking everyone from all different directions. But of course, for the number one spot, it had to be the minigun. Now, here's the thing about the minigun, right? It doesn't have a aim, aim lock on, right? When you, you know, when you press L2 to aim down sight, it doesn't lock onto the target. However, you don't need to reload with this maximum you get about 2600 bullets and once those you know once the bullet runs out as you don't need to reload you can pretty much fire all 2000 bullets in one go and the bullets itself and the damage it's so so high literally full the stats so full for that that you can even explode cars with the amount of bullets that you fire and you can see that anyway you can literally weaken cars and it completely shreds people so if you get in the way with this particular weapon right in front of you. if you go right in front of this you get shred to bits literally absolutely amazing amazing weapon deserve the number one spot so let me know in the comments below what your top five would look like for your favorite weapons or guns in gta 5 if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you hit that like button thanks for watching guys see you guys soon check your sign out good night peace yay and by the way i'm going to be slowly slowing down on the series but as always if you want if you want me to carry this on for our next gen just as always let me know in the comments below uh, your feedback is important for my channel growth. Um, of, so, of course, I'm still waiting for the delivery of Gran Turismo 6. I'm not sure why it's not sent yet from Amazon. It should have been sent already on the 6th 
of December so I'm disappointed and I'm very very aggravated that I've been lacking on the videos that I wanted to make initially with schedule but anyway that's just sort of a little update on another tangent that you may have been interested in if you're wondering why I've been lacking on videos lately but I'm filling it in with these top five so hopefully you guys enjoy them uh, if you want me to stop then let me know recently I've been getting a lot of dislikes it's probably because of the listings that I've chosen for my particular top fives from my opinion but that's usually that's bound to happen in these top five episodes that's mostly based on opinions rather than uh, given stats you know and really it's down to preference with the st you know freaking cars and uh, all sorts of uh, just comfort zone I suppose everyone's got a different comfort zone with whatever they use and taste sorry so um, before I ramble more uh, yeah see you guys soon thanks for watching guys and subscribe for more whatnot and uh, more content on its way I may uh, post more Modern Warfare 2 videos as well so yeah shake your son out good night peace hey Hey guys, you here, right here, yeah, G, you know what comes to another GTA 5 Top 5 episode. This one is requested in by Trevor Phillips, he wants to see the Top 5 Best Luxury Cars in GTA 5. Sorry if I sound slightly different or weird in this commentary, I'm slightly high. 